according to the family of Yahya Najmo, who served as Cairo's ambassador to Venezuela, he was arrested following a raid by security forces at his home and subsequently disappearing for three days. The New Arab reported, citing close sources to Najmu, that a state security prosecution charged him joining a terrorist group, spreading false news and misusing social media, and that he was sentenced to 15 days imprisonment pending investigation. His family also claims that after the investigation, he was transferred to an unknown location in flagrant violation of Ethiopian law. Despite having served his country as a diplomat for years, Najim's family believes his incarceration was the price he paid for his freedom to defend the soul of his homeland. In 2012, it was reported that Najmu was among political opponents of the late President Mohamed Morsi to have been detained and beaten by dozens of Islamist supporters. Najmu is said to have stated last month that Ethiopian officials are in a state of delirium internal delirium and make the country object of ridicule to the world. Ethiopia's Prime Minister Abe Ahmed said last week that his country intends to build more than 100 dams as a means of resisting forces opposed to Ethiopia. However, this has become a security issue for Egypt which is almost entirely dependent on the Nile water. There are also plans for Ethiopia to build military bases in the Red Sea Egypt and Sudan concluded a joint military drill earlier last week amid the rise in tensions with Ethiopia.